You might have noticed this summer some longer grass and other plant life growing in areas across our district which used to be cut short. No, we haven't forgotten to mow and prune. We are allowing more natural growth in certain areas to support our precious natural world. Hi, I'm Councillor Phil Williams, Three Rivers District Council's lead member for environmental services, climate change and sustainability. Today I've come down to Fortune Common, one of the locations which we own and manage, where I'm meeting Jess Hodges, our community biodiversity officer. Jess showed me what effect our new grassland management is having on the biodiversity of the area. So an area like this, um, we changed the way the grassland's managed. So in previous years, the grass would have been kept very short and cut regularly, whereas now we're reducing the number of cuts to maybe one or two. And that's to allow the grass to grow up taller, to allow the beautiful wildflowers to grow up as well, uh, where previously they wouldn't have had the opportunity to. They then provide fantastic food plants for all the local invertebrates, bees and wasps and butterflies and moths. And the flowers are then allowed to go to seed, which gives us a fantastic seed bank for next year. And, and then the grass is cut and collected. That reduces the number of nutrients in the soil and, and gives the wildflowers a fantastic opportunity for next year as well. So in areas like this, where we've got grassland meeting woodland, we need to manage the border in a very different way. So in this area, we've got plants like bramble, some scrubby plants that ideally we don't want encroaching or growing into our grassland. We want them to stay in the woodland. Although they're very valuable plants, they're food plants to lots of species. So therefore we cut them less regularly. So for example, we might cut them maybe once every few years. So they're cut to prevent them encroaching, but they're still there as a really valuable habitat. We are also utilising grazing livestock to manage the grass without the need to use machinery. This small herd of cattle graze the grassland. Thank you very much, Jess. And now you can have your say on the biodiversity in your local area and the way we manage the grassland. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you have to say. Please click on the link.